Oh, my word, you've made a Sackenstein's monster that is frighteningly small. Let's, let's bulk him up a bit. You know, while touch is fancy, those buttons you have there could also be used for a lot of things in create mode. Let's give them a go. Open your poppet with the menu button and select the poppet cursor with the action button. Move the cursor with the left stick. Yes, like that. Put it over your creation and press the action button. Now you can move him around with the left stick. On the right stick, pressing left or right, will spin him around. And of course, up or down will make him larger or smaller. Mm, I'd de-biggerize in case he goes rogue. You can move him back and forth between layers. Hold the L button and drag the middle of the layer slider to bring him forward a layer. You can also hold the L button and use the left stick to move him in and out. Now, you might want to make him Chunkenstein's monster. Hold the L button and tap the dotted line above the layer slider to make him fatter. Dragging the bottom edge of the layer slider upwards will make him thinner. OK, now set him loose in the world. Press the action button to release him. Press back to return to the main menu. And notice how Frank stays exactly where he is. Gravity doesn't come back into play until you fully close your poppet. Not satisfied with power over life itself? You can control time, too. Press the left button to go back and undo your actions. As you might expect, pressing the right button will redo it. Notice that time has been frozen. The up button pauses the temporal continuum. Temporarily, mind you. Pressing up once more will cause our continuum to continue on. I think this experiment's gone far enough. I'm afraid it's time to delete our unusual friend. Get your poppet cursor, tap Frank to select him, press delete when you're ready. Frank has returned from whence he came. Yes, whence. I think it's somewhere near Plymouth. 